Time to draw me! All right, everybody, welcome to another cartoon drawing tutorial. And today we are drawing Professor Nackwick from the Octonauts. A uh, very, uh, he's, he's a character that wasn't on a lot of episodes, uh, but I actually always saw him and thought he was one of the coolest looking characters. So we're going to go ahead and draw him today. And what we need to do first is get your three P's. Do you know what those are? Your paper, your pens, and your pencils. And if you have an eraser, that works too. <laughs> or, there, eraser. And we're going to start off with our pencils today. So we're going to start with our papers and we're going to make sure it's portrait or up and down. And then all we're going to do is we're going to start with something I love most. And that is a nice, beautiful circle. And I'm going to draw some light ones to see which one I like best. And I'm going to use my eraser. And then I'm going to just go over the one I like best here. There we go. Nice, good circle. All right, you guys ready for the artist secret that we do here on this show? The Magic Key. Some of you already know what the magic tea is, but in case you don't know, it is basically just a giant tea that goes into your drawing. Actually, we're going to do it straight, right in the middle here. Just like that. All right. Once we have our magic tea, and why is the magic tea magic? Oh my goodness, I should have said this. The magic T is magic because now we can put all the pieces of the face and everything will fall into place perfectly. The first thing I want to do is I want to focus on his nose because that's the easiest part. We're going to draw a little rainbow or a little curved line just like that. And then we're going to go on each side of that rainbow that we just did and we're going to draw a line going down again meeting at the center line of the magic tee. We're going to go on each side just like that. I'm going to fill that in. All right we got his nose. Now we're going to do two ovals and each oval is going to start right below the bottom and it's just going to go just like that. So see how we're making an oval? There's one oval. I'm going to do another oval right here. And see, that since we blackened his nose, we don't see part of the oval, but that's okay, because that's actually going to work for us here. Then we're going to connect the two bottoms of the ovals with another curvy line or a smiley face. <laughs> kind of looks cute, I think. Looks like a cute nap quick. All right. So now we're going to go on each side of the magic T line and we're just going to make a big rainbow or curve line, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to go on the other side, do the same thing. Oh, he looks so happy. And then right on the side of each of these, we're going to do a, a flat happy face or happy or smiley. Just like that. And then we're going to draw a little baby tiny circle inside. And we're going to put them, you could put it anywhere, but I like to put it in the corners. And then we're going to fill these guys in. Again, we're just using our pencil right now. All right, now we're going to do a little fun stuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to start up here by the magic T, and we're going to go just off the side like that. And we're going to put a little mark there and we're going to do the same thing on the other side, just off the side of the magic T. See that? We're right on the side of each one. Then we're going to put another marker right down here. 
Or if you don't want to do the mark, we're gonna you can just go ahead and do the giant curved line. And what I did a marker so I want to know where I'm gonna end up, but you don't have to. We want to draw, we want to pretend we're in a little car and we're gonna drive straight down and we're gonna drive right between these two things because we don't want to crash. And down to the end of his head. We're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna drive our little car and we're gonna go past. The eye and the nose, and go straight down. So see, I didn't do a mark on that side. What do you think? Still pretty good? All right, right below the magic T, we're going to draw a couple of triangles, three of them to be precise. So we're gonna draw one, like that. Um, and this one's, actually this one could be a little bit bigger. We're gonna do a big, a big one and two on each side, and these can be smaller. All right. Now we're going to do some of his fur. And the way we're going to do that is right here using that magic T line. Magic T comes in handy. Um, we're going to just draw a, a, slight, a slight curvy line that goes down and goes past to this magic T, just like that. And we're going to do that on each side. So the magic T line goes across there and it can go straight across. And then right on the side of his head, we're going to do a slightly uh, I don't know what you can call this thing, a curvy triangle? What do you guys think? Anybody? Got anything for me? <laughs> we're going to do another. We're going to do three of these. So the first one's going to be big. This one's going to be a little bit smaller. This one's going to be smallest. So this one's a medium and a small one. All right. Now all we're going to do is... Do, 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 do. Should we have him wearing his um his ice uniform thing? You know, like his hood? Yeah, we're going to do his hood. So what we're going to do is we're basically going to take this magic T-line. We're going to go up just a little bit more right past his head like that because we want to see where we're going to put his hood, right? So we'll go right up here. We're going to draw a line from the triangle to this line that we just made. So here we go. Whoop. We're going to do the same thing over here. And it's going to be a curvy line. We're going to just follow the head. Oh, mine's all messed up. And we're right from the curvy triangle up there. There's his head. All right. All right. Let's get his ears. He needs some big ears. So on each side, we're going to give him two big, big triangle ears. I don't think I need this anymore. Nice big triangle ears. And then we're going to inside. They're kind of curvy triangles, but you can make them straight triangles, whatever you want to do. And you can see mine is not perfect, but that's okay. We're not trying to be perfect artists. Well, <laughs> I know we all want to be. Um, we're going to do another triangle inside, a little bit smaller, just like that. And we're going to do the same thing on this one, inside. So we have two triangles, one big, one small inside. And then what do you think we're going to do inside this little triangle? That's right, we're going to make little small triangles. And there are actually going to be two. One, two. One, two. You're all triangles, buddy. Let's get the bottom of his hood here. And the way we're going to do that is da -da 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 -da, we're going to go to this triangle, this big one, and we're going to draw to this. So right in the middle of this big triangle, we're going to draw to the middle of this little triangle. And we're just going to do it like this. Whoop. Same thing over here, middle of this little triangle to the big triangle. Or you could just draw a big circle around them. <laughs> that might be easier. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to be all... You gotta go this little bit, and then this little bit, and then a little small bit. Let's draw a big circle. There we go. <laughs> That's the easy hood. <laughs> See, I'm learning. I'm learning with you guys. All right. So, right between these areas here, we're just gonna draw a nice giant letter U shape. See the letter U? All right. All right, I got a nice big letter U. Then we're going to take that magic T line and go straight down like that. So we have a nice big line. And on each side, just like we did over here with his little face, we're going to draw a line on each side of that magic T line we just did. This magic T line just keeps on giving. Then we're going to put a little triangle here because, you know, he's got to have more triangles because that's what he does. Then he's got three rectangles and they're laying down rectangles. So it's one, two, three. And see that magic T line? 
Now you can follow that magic T line and make it darker, and it becomes a zipper. Amazing how this all works. All right, on the bottom of this U, we are going to just do a flat line. And you're probably like, why? And I'm going to tell you why. You're going to go to the side of the U, and you're just going to connect it to that line. So my line's a little big. <laughs> a little big, but that's why we have erasers, right? So there we go. All right. Now what we're going to do is now we have one flat line. We're going to follow that flat line with another parallel line, just like that. All right. Erase. And we're also going to erase this U, the little bits of the U that you can still see. All right. So now we've got this guy. All right. So let's get his legs. And the way we're going to do that are rectangles. We start off with, and you can always follow this magic T line to where you want to make the first line for your rectangle. We're going to do two of these. Two nice big rectangles. All right. Okay, we've got two rectangles. Now, on the bottom of these rectangles, we're going to draw another line because we want to know where his feet are going to start. And we're just going to make two big old rainbows. And they can go past those rectangles, no problem. We don't mind. Then we're going to just draw a slightly curved line above each of those rainbows. All right, now let's get to his final hands. What do you want his hands to be doing? I don't know what he should be doing. Maybe he's just gonna be, let's just have one hand like to his side. So I'm gonna draw a circle, nice big circle. Or does he have little circles? I don't know. And then the other one, he's going to, have him, let's have him wave. I don't know. <laughs> let's have him wave to the octonauts. So we have a circle over here going upwards. It doesn't really mean, it doesn't matter exactly where. As long as you have two lines that go to that circle and the first side of the circle, you're gonna have a curvy line and you want that curvy line on the top to always go to the top of his jacket. So we're gonna do that here. Curvy line goes up to the top of his jacket like that. And then the other one, other side of this circle, you're gonna follow the same line, go up to his jacket, just like that. Same thing here, up to his jacket. All right, let's give him his thumb. And the only way we're gonna do thumb is a little curvy line going off of that circle. Just like that, have a thumb. All right, so this is what we should have, something like that. All right, so now we have the top of the circles on each side. We're just going to do a parallel line, just like that, on each side. And there you go, Professor Natquick. I think we got him. So what we want to do is we want to ink in just the parts that we want to keep. So let's just do it. And you want to ink in, you never want to ink in the magic T. So we'll just start off there. Let's see yours. Ink yours in. Color them up. Send them on over. And uh, we will see you guys at the next one. Um, trying to do these at least once a day during this time when we're all stuck at home, uh, during this whole quarantine business stuff. <laughs> but keep on drawing. This is a great opportunity. Keep on drawing. The more you do, the better you get. And we will see you at the next one. Peace. want to draw more? Well, we got more videos for you to watch. Check out any of these and please share this with all your friends. Let's get more people drawing. The more you draw, the better you get. All right, see you at the next video.